teach you how to make this sick rad shirt that I'm wearing. Off the shoulder t-shirts are extremely popular. But the only problem is I don't like just to cut off like a little angle on my t-shirts. Let's add a little bit more pizzazz to it. To create this look, you have to start with a regular t-shirt. Find one that fits you but isn't too snug on your body. First, you'll draw a line from the top right shoulder angling towards the lower left shoulder. Take your scissors and cut along that line leaving one fourth an inch of seam allowance. Create a rolled hem and sew along the cut edge. Grab another piece of fabric and cut out a strip about 3 to 4 inches wide by 8 inches long, or however long you want your strap to be. Fold the strip in half right sides together and sew along the edge. Use the safety pin method to invert the strip to its right side. This is the strap to one of your shoulder on the shirt. Place the strip on the lower end of the cut and attach with pins and sew. Make marks along the neckline about 1 inch apart. Carefully use your scissors to cut out the lines that you have made. Create a braid using the slit you have cut into the neckline. To do this, take the second strip and loop it under the first strip. Pull the loop over and hold. Take the third strip and loop it into the second loop created from the first step. Continue down the neckline and secure it by hand stitching with the needle and thread. This is completely optional but fun nonetheless. Use Dazzle Tech glue to adhere pearl beads along the braid to embellish the shirt. For the bow, cut out a 6 by 10 inch rectangle, preferably from the same fabric that was used for the strap. Fold in half right on right and sew along the edge. Invert it back to the right side with the seam in the center, fold and sew again. The center of the bow is from a piece of fabric that measures 4 by 6 inches. Fold the fabric in half and sew along the edge. Flip the fabric into its right side and cut off any excess. Fold the rectangle in half again and sew along the edge. Invert the fabric back to its right side again and place the large rectangle from before through the small rectangle. Adjust accordingly until a bow starts to form. Lastly, you can place the bow onto the shirt by hand stitching or using hot glue gun for extra security. Alright, so now go ahead and rock your t-shirt and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Bye!